search performance tuning. Here we'll discuss what is search performance tuning, uh, what is Splunk, what are the Splunk tuning factors, and how to write the better searches. Let's go to the home screen of search uh, of Splunk. So if we talk about the uh, if we talk about the tuning of uh, search tuning, then Splunk. Uh, Basically, the Splunk's main competency is to is the indexing and searching of any type of data with speed and efficiency. So the tuning means we can uh, tune our search based on the different uh, based on the based on the different aspects of uh, tuning. So this uh, basically Splunk uh, mainly does the indexing and searching of any type of data. Uh, with the speed and efficiency, but sometimes it happens when we don't optimize our data or we don't tune our data. If it is a lot in the large uh, data environment, then the performance of the Splunk search can be very slow. So we we write some basic uh, some the we do some tuning like we do in data uh, in the database. We do the database tuning. We can also do the tuning here in Splunk. So that uh, the performance of the search will be increased, and the search results will come faster than before. So there are a variety of factors uh, which offers us the suggestions on how we can tune these plugs for a given deployment. The the first is the, the first factor is the segmentation. So basically, segmentation is uh, how Splunk identifies items to index the data, uh, which are not key pairs or fields. So this, these index items or segments along with fields are the building blocks inside the data that such capabilities are built upon. So tuning this segmentation can lead to great indexing performance by lowering the total processing required to index any line of data and increase the potential for compression effectiveness. So basically uh, segmentation is, is the factor which identifies the data, data's key values and fields. So we can improve our perform indexing performance by tuning the segmentation. So Splunk maintains uh, basically two concepts of the segments. One is called uh, one is major and the second is minor segments. So major segments are the words or phrases uh, in your data which are surrounded by the breaking characters such as a blank space and the minor segments are the breaks within a major segment. So if we discuss about an example, then we can discuss the IP address example. So suppose there is a there is an IP address with the um, 120.160.2.140. So it will be indexed entirely as a major index, and then it will break upon into the different minor segments, like 190, and then 160, so on. So the full IP address will be indexed entirely as a major segment and then it will break uh, on the four different words. So segmentation also impacts the indexing and the data storage performance directly based on the data which is set in use. We can completely disable the segmentation which, uh, allows, which allows for the maximum indexing performance and the storage efficiency. So this comes at the expense of the search convenience and the search speed. So with, when the segmentation is disabled, we can perform searches using the uh, regular expressions, which we call as the regex. So basically, uh, it provides full regular expression search capabilities so once we disable the segmentation. Uh, Splunk can also automatically extract the source host from a given piece of IT data, which is useful in situation where the data is 
aggregated before arriving to the Splunk. So, and the next thing is the next factor is the timestamp extraction. So, Splunk can also identify timestamps in any uh, given piece of data from a, a different formats. It also help us to pre-aggregated data cases. So these are the basic factors. The next thing is the the factors which we just discussed are the host extraction, the timestamp extraction, the segmentation, and the next uh, next one is the data normalization. So if we are having problems with the uh, some odd data presented in our uh, indexers from the different sources. So which are, means the odd data is like incorrect times being reported uh, from a log. So we ensure that a source type is correctly set for that. So we can edit uh, the inputs.com file from the system local under the etc system local to view and edit the inputs. We can, specif uh, we can specify different filters on that to delete that odd data from the indexes. So we, now we can, uh, let's now discuss about the hardware tuning factors uh, which, which can improve the performance of Splunk searches and it uh, also is improves the scalability of the Splunk searches. So there are a few harder hardware factors also which can uh, maximize the performance from this different aspects of Splunk. So the first is the uh, first is the uh, disk. Uh, let's discuss about how it can increase the performance. So Splunk is naturally uh, use the disk subsystems that it works. So both index and search operation are very benefic benefits uh, from a disk subsystem that is designed with an eye to the types of operation. It is recommend to use the high storage capacity on an indexer so that uh, the search can be improved in your search environment. We always recommend to use 10 times more search uh, disk capacity in the, on the indexers so that the search will, uh, will run smoothly. There are some high level guidelines for the hardware tuning factors like uh, uh, if, we are, if we are doing 25 GB per day indexing then there should be 4 CPU cores and then around the 2.5 gigahertz processor and it should have 4 GB RAM. So if we are doing 100 GB per day indexing then there should be 8 CPU cores with uh, 2.5 gigahertz and then 8 GB RAM is required. Similarly for 300 gigs GB per day there should be 12 CPU cores and 12 GB RAM. And if we are indexing one terabyte uh, data per day, then there should be uh, around 32 CPU and 32 GB RAM. These are the basic high, high level guidelines provided by Splunk to use uh, based on the data you are using per day. These are the basic hardware tuning factors which can improve your performance, Splunk performance. Let's discuss now about the uh, writing better searches in Splunk which can also improve the performance. So if there are some uh, causes of, there are uh, some causes of slow searches which suggest simple rules uh, to use when you are running the searches. So there are many factors which can affect the speed of your searches like the volume of the data that you are searching. So this is basically depends how you you have constructed your searches. Whether or not you have planned your deployment sufficiently to handle the number of users running searches at the same time and these are the basic things.